Poor old codger was only doing 10k over the limit. You know, I've got to get me kicked somehow, mate. <laughs> Why don't you calm down, Mrs Hart, and tell me what happened? <laughs> I told you. He took him. He was at the front of the school. I was only a few minutes late. What makes you think it was Barry? <laughs> Who else had taken him? Well, they could have got detention or gone off with some other kids. <laughs> That'd be right. This is the third time, Mrs Hart. Yeah, well, this is different. You've got to do something. He's probably halfway to Melbourne by now. Maggie... <laughs> Why don't you get Mrs Hart a cup of coffee? I don't want coffee! I want you coppers to get off your bums and find my kids! This way, Mrs Hart. What's the story there? Nick will fill you in on the way to the school. Oh, you're not going to take it seriously. There should be a few teachers still around. Yeah, Barry Hart, Barry Hart, I know him. We'll show it around. Here's a bloody heart. Perfect end to a perfect day. Back if I was you. You can go to jail for shoplifting. They don't put kids in jail, you stupid bitch. I keep trying to tell you. Barry called last night. He said he was coming. He said he'd take Zach. Well, he said that before, didn't he? Isn't that why you applied for an intervention order? That wouldn't stop him. Did you leave the kids on their own again? No. Last time your kids went missing, Mrs. Hart, you were off with some bloke for the weekend. We picked them up trying to hitch a ride to St David's. I don't leave them on their own. Not anymore. All right, suppose this time you're right. Suppose he came for Zach like he said. What happened to the sister, Ginny? He'd take her too. She's not his kid. No, but it wouldn't make any He's difference. He's never shown any interest in her. He'd have to take them both. Ginny wouldn't leave Zach. She knew better. Barry's got him. I just know it. It's been almost a year since Heather tried this stunt. I wonder what set her off. Well, she's applied for a divorce. Barry got the papers yesterday. Well, I can't see why that'd upset him. There's no love lost between those two. PJ, you owe me ten bucks, mate. What? Barry Hart's left Melbourne. Said he was going bush for the weekend. And according to his flatmate, he was pretty stirred up about something. So, cough up. What's all this? You bet me ten bucks it was just another false alarm. Still could be, could be coincidence. Pretty big one. Mount Thomas Police, Sergeant Croydon. What now? Let's you see what Wayne and Nick come What's up with. Why won't you take this seriously? Yeah, I will. Just You're as right. soon as I know I won't be sending every cop in the district out yeah. on a wild goose chase like okay, last mate. time, man. I'll get somebody Thank over there straight away. Maggie, get on to Nick and Wayne. Send them over to Burke's. The security bloke there's just picked up a couple of shoplifters and they've given him the slip. What about Barry Hart? Oh, I wouldn't worry about him. Wherever he is, it isn't Mount Thomas. There's been no abduction. These shoplifters? With the heart, kids. I'll uh, give Mrs. Hart the good news. Which direction you're going? Down that way. Down that way. Heading down that way. All right, thanks. Good on you, Cassie. Thanks. Well, it's them, all right. Throw the book at her. Oh, you gave me such a fright. I said I'd pick you up. Why'd you run off like that? We waited and waited. We thought you had forgotten. Again. As if I would with his stepfather liable to show his face any tick of the clock. He's burying Mount Thomas. If he's not, he won't be far off. I don't want to live with Dad. Oh, it's all right, love. I won't let them take you. We'll go home, eh? Just a minute, Mrs Hart. About this shoplifting. How old are you? Thirteen. Thirteen. What are you going to be doing when you're eighteen? Robbing banks? Not to mention the bad example you're setting for Tiger here. What are we going to do about this? Stealing is stealing. She'll have to be punished. Yeah, stick her in the cells for a day or two. 
In jail? Well, that's what we do with criminals. All right, you've had your fun. I'll see the stuff's paid for. Can we go now? When we've organised the paperwork. <sighs> what paperwork? Mrs Hart, we let your daughter off with a warning last time. This time we're going to have to charge her. Well, don't count on me to make any more citizens' arrests. Oh. Yeah, rat. Want me to kiss it better? Later. Why does the day feel like the longest day of my life? Well, it might not yet be over, Nick. Oh, yeah? Not if Barry Hart's in town. Oh, he's not, is he? Well, it's not our problem. We knocked off ten minutes ago. I've got the weekend off. So give me a beer, will you, Chris? Right up. Chris, do you know Barry Hart? Yeah, he used to work here, briefly, a couple of years ago. He used to help himself to the grog and then pick fights with the regular, so it was um, bye bye, Barry. See you later. Bye, yeah, Chris. bye bye, Barry. Good children. Do you know his wife? Yep, and the kids. I mean, the fights those poor little devils must have been through. I mean, Heather walked in here one day with a new hairdo and Barry just went right off. I thought he was going to smack her teeth in. <laughs> I mean, is he really back in town? We hope not. Mm. Those kids. That girl's only 13 years old. She's already a petty crim. Yeah, undersized thugs, how I describe her. Well, what about the boy? He's five. What hopes he got? The mother's already come that close to losing him a couple of times. Oh, well, they'd be better off. Uh, kids belong with their parents. It depends on the parents. Our kids would be all right. Hey, no pills, no thrills. Oh. Wayne, we're not ready. We're as ready as we're ever going to be. I like it being just us. I thought you did too. Yeah, I do. But there's this empty space. I wonder if that's why the hearts had their kids. To fill their empty spaces. <laughs> Mount Thomas Police, Constable Patterson speaking. Well, slow down. Mm -hmm. Nick. Who is it again? Really? All right, sweetheart, just stay put. We'll be with you in a few minutes, okay? Boss, trouble at the heart place. Her mother's been bashed. Daughter thinks she's in a bad way. The husband? Oh, she didn't say. She wasn't making much sense. Well, off you go then. Both of you. Organise an ambulance. ambulance. We'll know more after the scans, of course, but right now it's hard to tell how much damage has been done. I'll need to talk to her as soon as she regains consciousness. I'll let you know. Thanks. Any word on the little boy? Not a sign. Looks like the father got what he came for. It was Barry. I saw him. But you were at the shops. He was driving off when I came home. You haven't seen him for over a year. It was him. Hi, uh, boss. I've uh, just spoken to the neighbours. The nearest 200 metres away. No one saw or heard anything. All right. All right, Jenny. When you saw your dad... He's not my dad. When you saw Barry driving off, was Zach with him? Yes. He took him. Mum always said he would. Did you see him? Jenny, we need to be very sure. Yes. Barry said he'd come and get him, and he did. And I hope they never come back, either of them. It took him so long to get here then. He left Melbourne early yesterday afternoon. I don't know. Maybe his car broke down. Tough. Mm. How is she? Upset. It was the father, all right. Yeah, I wish to hell it wasn't. That'd let us all off the hook, wouldn't it? There's no law that says a bloke can't spend a weekend in his old town, Mags. PJ, he was under an intervention order. Yeah, and until he broke it, our hands were tied. So what are we supposed to do? Are we paid to prevent crime? Or are we just supposed to sweep up the pieces later? You know something, Mags? You're in the wrong job. You want to play Cape Crusader? You should be a social worker, not a cop. All right, red sloppy Joe, green pants. Anything else? He might have had his plastic dinosaur. He was playing with it when I left. 
believed to be carrying one plastic dinosaur. Any word on that car, Rego? Yeah, just came in. Wayne, get this circulator. Hart could be halfway to Perth by now. Right, eh? You get on that social worker? No answer. Definitely a job for the watch house keeper's missus. What is? Let's talk in my office. Isn't there another social worker? On leave. But the other one shouldn't be too far away. She's supposed to be on call. Look, we're only talking about a couple of hours just till we track her down. Yeah, if it was up to me, it'd be fine. But there's Roz. She's already had one running with this kid. She'll understand. When does it end? We'll get woken up by the phone at three o'clock in the morning. Nine times out of ten, we don't even get to spend the weekends together because one of us is on duty. And now I'm expected to play minder to an underage criminal on my days off. She's not that bad. I had plans for this weekend. I'll make it up to you next weekend. You wanted this, didn't you? No. I bet you even volunteered. Don't worry, boss. Roz needs to work on her maternal instincts. It wasn't like that. Anyway, it's only for a few hours. Yeah, well, it better be. Oh, this job gets up my nose sometimes. Right, it's all fixed. You'll be staying here till the social worker can come and pick you up. I gotta get back to work. See you. Okay, Ginny. I know we're not exactly friends, but I'm prepared to forget what happened at the shops yesterday if you are. Guess I'll be seeing you all in the morning. Great way to spend the day off. Any word on Barry Hart? Nope, not a whisper. City D's are watching his flat in case he's stupid enough to go back there with a the kid. And I've got reports circulating all over the state, but so far... Well, it's got to be holed up somewhere. Yeah, but where? I bet his missus would have a few ideas. Anyone heard how she is? Still unconscious. Mick's agreed to give up his day off tomorrow like the rest of us. Wayne, before you go, I've just had Doris Lehman on the phone. Who? The social worker. She's uh, caught with an emergency. She won't be able to pick up Ginny till tomorrow. So where's she staying tonight? Just in time. We've got to bring Luke's wardrobe downstairs. Are you sure you don't want some fruit juice? No, no I can't stay off. I've been there anything. Well, go oh, well, then it won't be too long. Here. Ross is a great cook. Oh, how'd you go with Shane? Did you give him any news? Yeah. I knew this would happen. Oh, it's only for tonight. Has she said anything at all? Oh, yeah, she's been a regular little gas bag. My mum makes better biggies than you do. You'd have to be desperate to marry a cop. <laughs> Where's the dunny? Hasn't been an easy afternoon, eh? I had more fun than I am. My wisdom teeth pulled. What's this doing here? Just to be on the safe side. Rose. Don't forget, I've seen her in action. Ease up, will you? Do you want her to think we don't trust her? I don't. Rose, I've seen kids like this before. The harder we olds come down on them, the more they fight back. You give them a chance, they'll grab hold of it with both hands. You've been watching too many Walt Disney films. Ask any child welfare worker. Tease up. All right, hand them over. What? My earrings. What are earrings like? The 24 karat gold ones you gave me for my birthday. Don't look at me. I am looking at you. I haven't touched them. Are you going to search her or will I? Uh, Rose, she said she didn't take them. I'm going to count to three. One. Two. Any more pearls of wisdom from the child welfare workers? It's just that you've had more experience, boss. Ros, we both thought maybe you and Mrs Croydon... I'd love to help out, son, but Nell's away. Otherwise, she'd be the first to offer. Anyway, the social worker's coming for her today. Would she say what time? Mm, late morning-ish. I don't think Ros can hold on that long. ginny has been given a hell. Look, son, there's only two rules when it comes to kids. Love and respect. You give them plenty of love and make sure they give you plenty of respect. Simple. 
I mean, that's all well and good with your own. That doesn't matter whose they are. Even the hearts. How did you go? No good. I'll look on the bright side, Wayne. As soon as the social worker rolls up, you can hand her over. Most parents are stuck with their kids for 18 years or more. Well, that'll cheer Ros up a lot. I just had a call from a woman over in St David's. A bloke answering Hart's description filled up his car at her petrol station yesterday at 11am. That fits. Hart left his wife's place at 10. Except for one minor detail. This bloke was on his own. So you're saying he stashed the kid somewhere between here and St David's? It's too close. He would have known we'd be after him. Unless he ditched the kid on purpose. But why? He's come all this way to get him. What, to get his son? Or to get even? Zach could have been in the car well, when Hart stopped for petrol. Pushed down out of sight. No, no, no. The witness was adamant. No kid. Well, do you want me to go speak to us? You might um, remember something else. Yeah, and while you're at it, do a recul on that stretch of road, eh? Good idea. Heather Hart's regained consciousness. We can interview her any time we like. Good, maybe she'll be able to fill in the missing pieces. Come on, Wayne. Sure. Maggie, can you do me a favour? What? Just drop in and tell Roz the boss said no about Ginny. You've got to be joking. Thanks, mate. Rapunzel didn't take half an hour to wash her hair. Now get dressed and clean up this mess. What am I, the maid? You've got two minutes to get back in here in your clothes. I didn't let him in. He forced his way in. You don't think he'd drive all the way from Footscray, do you, to have me slam the door in his face? Oh, I forgot. Your coppers are so bloody sure there wasn't going to be any trouble. Thought it was just good old Heather Hart going off the deep end again, didn't you? All right, he, um, <clears throat> he forced his way in. Then what happened? We had words over the divorce. He said he was taking Zach. I'd already sent Zach out the back. I told him to make himself scarce. I told Barry he wasn't home. And that's when he went burko. We've had blues in the past. I've never seen him so mad. And he laid into me. He got Zach, didn't he? Yes, it uh, looks that way. Don't give me that crap, Zach's Don't gone, hasn't he? yourself, Mrs Hart. You let him walk in. Take my little boy. Now you're going to sit around on your bums, waiting till you've got some evidence. What are you waiting for? A body? Are you saying that your husband's capable of hurting Zach? <laughs> He's capable of anything. Yeah, but his own son, surely he loves him. <laughs> it's about being owned. When Barry Hart says you belong to him, you don't cross him. Why do you think he got so riled about the divorce papers? A five-year-old kid can be a real pain, let me tell you. I mean, Zach's only got a stack on one of his turns when Dad's not in the mood. And he's in trouble. Big trouble! She's exaggerating. Barry was never the violent type. Well, that's not how Chris tells it, and Barry worked for him. There was one incident. This is the bloke who almost killed his ex-wife boss. Listen, he loves those kids. Well, the little boy, anyway. If he's such a great father, why did the court grant an intervention order? Because he was always making threats, but I knew him when he lived here. He was all mouth. Well, a lot of them are when they're up against someone their own size. Look, it's blokes like that who take it out on their wives and their kids. If, if he wanted to hurt the boy, why did he take off with him? Well, I'm not saying he meant to, but maybe the kid wasn't very cooperative. Or maybe he threw a tantrum in the car. Hart must have been running on pure adrenaline by this point. It wouldn't take much to set him off again. Well, we can't be sure of anything, not till we find Hart. If we find him. Every cop shop in the state's aware of the situation. There are reports every hour on the radio and TV. If you've got any other suggestions, then do me a favour and spit them out, because I'm just as concerned as the rest of you. Make yourself useful. Both hands, right where I can see them. Can we go now? To the hospital? Look, they said they'd call as soon as your mother's feeling better, all right? Maybe they did. We've been here for ages. All right, well, we'll give them a call as soon as we get home, OK? Come on. Heather Hart, that's right. 
Yes, her daughter wants to know if her mother's awake yet. Oh, excellent. Then she's going to be all right. Hang on. So can I come and see her? Why? Ah, oh, thanks a lot. Well, what did they say? She woke up this morning. They tried to call, but we were out. OK, well, we'll go now. She's asleep again. They gave her something. And then we'll go later. The social worker's coming to get me. I'm sure she'll take you. Fat chance she's been trying to get me and Zach away from Mum for years. Jimmy. I'll probably never see her again and it's all your fault. I hate you! Very hard. Boss, Nick just found Barry Hart out in the Wongabi Road. And the boy? Isn't with him. All right, get out to Nick, search the area. The boy could be hiding or he could have been hidden. Uh, TJ can bring in Hart. Radio. I've never laid a finger on her before. There was times I was tempted, I can tell you. And Ginny too. There's a chip off the old block. Yesterday she laughed at me. Said Zach hated me. That he never wanted to see me again. <sighs> Suddenly I just couldn't keep it in anymore. All those times I wanted to slap her just to shut her up. And it all came out. Once I started, I couldn't stop. Just couldn't stop. So you uh, bashed the senseless. Then what? I ran. Got in the car and drove off. What about Zach? What about him? You didn't see him? No. He was off somewhere with Ginny. And you didn't look? After what I did to Heather, I just wanted to get the hell out of there. When you left the house, where were you going? Home. Footscray. Well, I wasn't thinking straight. I was pretty shook up. I got about as far as St David's before it hit me. Home's the first place the cops would look. So I turned around and went the other way. Found a back road and just kept driving. You can't have driven far. You're only 30 k's from Mount Thomas when Constable Schultz found you. Well, that's about as far as I got before I figured it'd be safer to get off the main road. I knew you blokes would be out looking. Let's go back to Zach. You've admitted you came to Mount Thomas with the intention of abducting him. How can a man abduct his own son? You left home Friday afternoon, you drove to Shepparton. You made arrangements with a lady friend to put you and Zach up for a few days till the heat died down. You stayed the night. You left for Mount Thomas early yesterday morning. That's right. You went to a lot of trouble to plan this abduction. And you came away empty-handed. I've explained all that. Zach's missing, Barry. No one's seen him since you left your ex-wife's house yesterday. So where the hell is he? Not a thing, boss. Not so much as a footprint. What about the car? Any signs of a struggle? Blood? Well, not that we can see. Well, maybe forensics should take a look. You know, I'll see if I can get some Davids to spare a couple of blokes to help you and Wayne cover the ground. Well, how much ground do you want us to cover? As much as it takes. Now, keep me posted. Mount Thomas Station, back on channel. Oh, you reckon they'll find anything? It may be uh, well worth a call to the guys in Shepparton. They can check out Barry's girlfriend. Well, check her out by all means, but she won't have Zach. Barry had time to drive there and back. But why would he? Drive back, I mean. Just a theory. We're going to need a better theory than that, Constable Doyle, if we're going to find this kid. OK, so Hart goes around to the house. He bashes the woman, nicks off with the kid. 
But he knows we'll be after him, just a matter of time. And there's no way that he can keep the boy. I mean, not after this. Look, he loves that kid, but if he can't have him... So what, he kills him and dumps him in the bush? Yeah, but nine times out of ten, the fathers do themselves in too, don't they? I mean, chickened out. You realise this could just as easily work the other way? How? Huh. Well, the wife knew Hart was coming. You saw how strung out she was the other day. Yeah, between Hart and welfare, it's a miracle she's hung on to those kids as long as she has. Well, maybe Hart's telling the truth. Maybe you didn't see Zach when he lobbed. Might have already been too late. I think it might be time for you to have another chat with Mrs Hart. Yeah, good idea. Max? Hang on a minute. Heather couldn't have done it. Ginny saw Zach in the car with his dad. That's just what I'd say too if I thought I was protecting my mum. She's awake. Sit down there, Ginny. Roz, I'm going to have to ask you to stay. By rights, there should be a social worker present. Would that be the same social worker who was supposed to come for Ginny this morning? Ginny, we found your stepfather. Zach wasn't with him. But he took him. He says he didn't. He must have. You told us you saw Barry driving away. Yes. What was he wearing? I couldn't tell. He was already in the car and it was driving away. So really all you could see was the back of his head? Yes, but it was Barry. And Zach was sitting in the other front seat? Yes. You saw him? Yes. You could only see the back of your stepfather's head. How could you possibly tell if a little tacker like Zach was sitting beside him? Barry took him. I know he did. So you sent Ginny to the shop to get bread and milk. What happened then? I told Zach to go and play outside. And I went in to wash the breakfast things. Forgot we were out of water. I was looking up Glenn Watson's number when Barry lobbed. Glenn Watson? He carts water to people not on the town mains. Look, what is all this? So Zach wasn't inside with you when your husband arrived? Yeah, he was. I told you before. He came in for a drink. I saw Barry's car pull up. I told Zach to go hide. I shoved him out the back again. Then Barry kicked the front door in. Look, will someone tell me what's going on? We found your husband, Mrs Hart. But Zach wasn't with him. He says he didn't take him. You believe him? Well, there are other possibilities. What other? Oh, come on. You don't think I had anything to do with this? My own son. <sighs> you bastards! You bloody rotten bastards! Does your mum ever get angry with you and Zach? No. Never. She was pretty mad when you nicked off from school on Friday. We did the wrong thing. Does she ever punish you when you do the wrong thing? Does she? Sometimes. How? Does she ever hit you? No. The social worker says she does. Bull! What about that time Zach ended up in hospital after your mum did her block? When you went to the shops, why wasn't Zach allowed to go with you? He was naughty. What did he do? He let the water out the bath. Mum filled it because the tank was nearly empty. It was all the water we had. I bet that made Mum angry. What happens now? You'll be detained here for the present, and you'll be transferred to St David's for the hearing. What are my chances of bail? It depends on the magistrate. If a serious assault, breaking the intervention order, don't count on it. And me son? You haven't been charged with abduction. Yet. You're barking up the wrong tree, mate. Heather's got that kid stashed somewhere. She must have planned the whole thing when I told her I was coming here to get him. She had plenty of time. We're looking into that possibility. Yeah? Well, you look real hard. Because he's got to be somewhere. And when this is over, I'm going to get him back. No bloody judge is going to tell me that she's a better parent than I am. Not after this. Sorry, Jimmy, there's no coke. Roz, there's nothing I can do. You'll just have to sit tight until we hear from the social group. All right. You ready, Jimmy? 
Ginny, they think I took Zach. You've got to tell them where he is. I don't know where he is. She put you up to it, didn't she? Tell them! You little bitch! You were trouble from the word go, just like your bloody mother. Must have been crazy to take the two of you. That's enough. Ginny, Sergeant Croydon tells me your mum's ready for visitors. We can get some flowers on the way if you like. Okay. Come on. What about forensic? Do they want to come and check the car? They'd be wasting their time. The little girl was lying, Nick. Hart left that house on his own, so you might as well come in. Are you treating you all right? Not bad. Have they found Zach? I used to tell Barry the kid would be better off dead than living with him. Don't, Mum, please. Bought your Prezi. They're pretty. Thanks, love. When are you coming home? Not for a while. Social work is going to put me in a foster home. Yeah. I thought that had happened. God knows she's tried enough times before this. It'll only be till you better, won't it? Maybe not. Maybe they're trying to find your brand new mum. Proper dad, too. Give you all the things I could. Don't run. Oh, love. Listen to me. I tried my best. But there are just some people in this world who shouldn't ever have kids. They don't know how to treat them right. And when things go wrong, they blame the kids when they should be blaming themselves. And you and Zach, you've always copped it from Barry and me. I want to stay with you. It's no use. But I won't let you. Not after this. Ah, uh, boss, we're uh, going to need some help on this one. I realise that, PJ, and here it comes now. Thanks for volunteering, boys. Volunteering for what? We're going over to the Hearts place to see what we can dig up. So you reckon Zach's hiding out somewhere? Uh, if he was, he would have surfaced by now. All right, a five-year-old doesn't take up much space. Cupboards, outhouses, feed bins, the wood box. Check the lot and keep an eye out for any freshly dug earth. What are you saying we're looking for? A body, Constable. I'm afraid that's about all we can expect to find at this stage. I know this won't be as good as your mum makes. But don't worry, I didn't make it. It's bored. Your mum's gonna be all right. She doesn't want me. Yes, she does. She doesn't. She never has, not since Zach was born. She's just trying to do what's best for you. They split up because of me. Barry never wanted me. There was a lot more to it than that. People break up for all sorts of reasons. They used to fight all the time because of me. I bet they used to fight because of Zach, too. It's not the same. They both love him. He's my brother. I know it's not his fault. But sometimes I hate his guts. That's why I was glad when Mum... When Mum what? Nothing. Ginny, do you know what happened to Zach? No, I don't. Well, we're friends now. Well, we know each other a little bit at least, huh? Ginny, I just want to help. It was my fault. <laughs> Mum was mad with him. He wanted to come to the shops with me, but I won't let it. Hey. What about a murder weapon? You keep your eyes peeled, but there mightn't be one. Kid could have been strangled, smothered, even drowned in the bathtub. Oh, charming. You guys check outside.
are still searching the grounds. Don't hold your breath. There's a good hectare of property here. It's going to take a while. What about the house? Big fat nothing. Well, keep looking. He's got to be there somewhere. She wouldn't hurt Zach. Not on purpose. But when he let the water out the bath, she went off her face. She really belted him. Then she said she wished Barry would come and get him. And me too. Then she told me to go down the shops. Zach wanted to come. He chucked a real spaz because I wouldn't let him. I could hear Mum screaming at him as I went. And do you think that something happened while you were out? I didn't at first, when I saw Barry driving off, and then I found Mum. I thought Barry must have taken Zach. And the cops said he didn't. And I knew. It must have been an accident. She wouldn't hurt him on purpose. Does she hit you a lot, your Mum? No. Most of the time she's great. Sometimes things get her down. She says having two kids puts all the blokes off. Sometimes she gets stuck into the grog. That's when me and Zach stay right out of her way. She's always sorry later. She cries and says she's a bad mother. She buys us takeaway pizza and lets us stay up late watching telly. So all you have to do is sit tight and wait. Yeah. Everything's great. Till next time. Where do you and Zach hide? Lots of places. Down near the creek or in the chook shed. But the best place is where the old cars and stuff are dumped. And where's that? Near the back road. We go there a lot, and Mum never finds us there. Zach? Come on, mate, your mum's looking for you. Jimmy, quick. He'll spend the night in hospital under observation. He's pretty badly dehydrated, but he's a tough little fella. Poor little bugger. They're here, Sergeant. Right. Go on, mate. Can I see me son? I'm afraid that won't be possible. Well, just tell me one thing. Who was he hiding from? Her? Or me? Well, from what we can gather, both of you. Come on. He must have been petrified, the poor little kid. And that boot would have been like an oven. We had a pretty good shot at getting out. His fingernails were pretty torn up. If Ginny hadn't been with him, she never would have let him close that boot. Yeah, his mother's always used her husband as a threat. I mean, the poor kid was terrified of him. Can I help you? Yes, I'm Doris Lehman. Doris, we were just about to file a missing persons report on you. Yes, well, I'm sorry about the delay, but you wouldn't believe the weekend I've had. I doubt it compared to ours, Mrs Lehman. Wayne, this lady's come to pick up Ginny. I'll phone Ros. Take a seat, Mrs. Lane. By the way, you might also mention that Ros did a pretty good job getting that information out of Ginny. She's pretty well responsible for saving that little fella's life. All set. 
cheer up. Might only be for a little while. Yeah. Maybe when Mum's feeling better, they'll let her take us back. Listen. You've been okay, you know. Yeah, no. You can visit. I'll even practice my cooking. You're not all that bad. This is Mrs. Lehman. Hello, Mrs. Patterson. Hi. Hello, Jenny. I really appreciate you taking her in like this. No problem. In fact, we could even hang on to her for a little bit longer if that'd suit you better. Couldn't we, Wayne? Yeah, sure. Thank you, but it's all arranged. I've managed to place the children together for now anyway. A very nice couple in St. David's. Good. Well, come along, Jenny. We've inconvenienced Mrs. Patterson for long enough. Bye, Jenny. Coffee? No, I've got to be getting back. What's that for? Service above and beyond the call of duty. You worked wonders with Jenny. I'm proud of you. You okay? Yep, I'm fine. 